Hi, I'm uh, Larry Dudead, and I am doing my first live on location show talk. And I'm at St. Jacob's Market. So I thought it would be fun since maybe some of you are trapped at home and uh, or maybe you're at the office, maybe you're still working uh, to give you a little tour of uh, the St. Jacob's Farmers Market. Now we used to uh, we used to do this uh, market God many 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 years ago, long before we ever uh, you know when the shows finished in uh, in April you know uh, we would do uh, we do St Jacobs we do Grand Bend Katie uh, you know you do all the markets and you're really just killing time till the summer circuit and uh, our summer circuit that I used to do with uh, Steve Rosenberg was uh, with the Car Wax we would do. Uh, Thunder Bay, we would do the Lakehead Exhibition. Then we would uh, drive out and do the Calgary Stampedes. We would boogie to the Edmonton Klondike Days, finish off the run with uh, Regina, and then uh, come home. So here I am. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm at St. Jacob's. I'm going to turn the camera around in a moment and show you exactly where I am. And then we're going to do a quick tour outside uh, and then we're going to do a, a tour of the inside because even though there is a lockdown, as you know, um, food is essential. So we'll take you for a little walk around St. Jacob's. So let me, uh, this is an activity I decided to do because I was at the office and I went, you know what, I need an activity. Now I have another activity in the summer. I don't know if uh, some of you didn't know this, but my mom moved in with us last year. Well, she passed away and she was cremated. So her ashes are still sitting on a shelf at our home. And uh, the activity we have with her is that we, she wanted to be buried in, uh, in Kingston, Ontario, uh, beside her sister. While my dad, who we lost three years ago, his wishes were, of course, to be buried at Benjamin's. So that's where he is. So while my dad's at Benjamin's and my mom's wish was to be buried in Kingston, uh, I think it's because they took uh, that till death do us part very seriously. And so now we're going to let me turn the camera around here and uh, and, uh, and I'll show you exactly where I am. So here I am at St. Jacob's. We're outside and uh, it's Thursday. It's shortened hours now because of the pandemic. Uh, so normally it's 7 till 3.30. And uh, now they've shortened the hours to uh, 8 o'clock till 2. So I did come out to uh, as an activity. But I'm also going to do some shopping and get some uh, groceries. And uh, inside my favorite butcher, uh, Charles Meats, is there. And now we're going to come in and see... Uh, we're going to come in and see Clive. Hey, Clive, I'm doing a Facebook Live show talk. Can I come in and uh, do a quick interview? Okay. Uh, we're, we are now live with Clive. Hey, that's a good name for a talk. You should have your own talk show, Clive. Live with Clive, I like it. And I'll do the British baked goods, except I'll call mine Yiddish baked goods. That's right. How you doing? Good, thank you. How are you, Larry? Very well. Uh, dare I ask how business is today? Well, it's been better today than it has been previous week on Thursday. Okay. Um, the weather's cooperating today. We've got a few more vendors here, so there seems to be more people. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, and still, uh, like, a lot of vendors missing because of uh, restrictions. But, yes. Uh, in general, um, you know, Thursday's just going to be here anyway, so... Right. Hopefully, see what we end up doing. Saturdays have been quite good. Yes. Um, the last few Saturdays outside has been good. Inside picked up last Saturday, so... And they're doing restrictions, of course, on traffic on yeah, Saturdays. Hedrick Village is um, 18 people, that's all they're allowed. Wow. Which causes a problem because you get a family of 12 going, there's 75% of the capacity, you know? Yes. And the other booth, the other building, I think it's uh, 52 people now for the main building. Okay. Um, outside, starting this Saturday, it's going to be restricted on the people coming in with four entrances. Um, I think it's, I'm guessing, 1,500 people allowed in at once. Okay. Well, I'm going to go do a quick walk inside, see what's happening, and uh, nice to see you. And I'll, you, I'll come back later when we're not on camera, and we'll have a, a, another chat. Okay. Take care, buddy. Thank Sorry. you. Good to see you, buddy. Thank Take you. Easy. Well, that was nice to see Clive. Uh, so now we're going to walk in and uh, see what's happening. And uh, we got, uh, oh, I got to get some maple syrup. Norma likes her maple syrup. And 
Well, let's see what else we've got. We got the finest quality artesian meats and cheeses. And uh, we've got uh, organic produce. We've got uh, some more syrup. You know, I, I uh, oh, honey, we got some honey out here. You know, I, I miss, uh, I miss the, uh, the fresh produce for Ontario. Uh, so we'll, we'll have that probably pretty soon. And uh, so here we are in front of the, uh, the farmer's market. There's three or four buildings out here. I think three and a, and a, and a little one. And, uh, and this, this is still open because it's all food. And uh, so we're going to go in and do a quick lap. And then after I give you a little tour, I'm going to sign off. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to do some shopping and see what I can get here. So now we're inside the building. Alex, how you doing? Very well, thank you. So here we are. I'm going to follow the arrows, of course. I'm doing a little tour with some friends. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they missed the place. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, here we've got some summer sausage. We've got uh, butchers. This isn't the one I usually go to, but they got some great deals on meats out here and turkey and chicken. Let's see, we got uh, all the baked goods. They're not here today. So let's do a quick walk around. This is for people who just maybe are trapped at home with, uh, with the kids or, you know, family members, or you're just taking the stay at home order seriously, which, you know, you got it. So here's, uh, this is where I always get the, how you doing? I'm just doing a quick tour with some friends on FaceTime there. These are the, uh, these are the uh, tarts that I always get. These are really, really good. I'll come by and say hi later. Okay. Oh, we got bagels. We've got, uh, they got some Greg's bagels out here too, which is delicious. And it's actually busier than I thought it would be. We've got... Uh, around here, but she's probably not here today. Oh, there's... There's, uh, by the way, there's my display. Uh, I haven't been here since the lockdown, of course. But this is kind of like it. It's always been fun to be able to uh, just keep my hand in pitching. So this is where, this is where I used to, uh, when I was allowed to, come on Thursdays and Saturdays. And of course, Thursdays were never that great. Saturdays uh, could be good. But let's do a quick lap here. We've got... Uh, this is my friend with uh, Wade with his uh, Living Edge Wood. And of course, he's not allowed to be here either. We got some other people closed up because uh, they were non-essential. And uh, let's see, we're, we're going to do a quick tour. And then uh, and you can... So if you're looking for a, an activity, Thursdays and Saturdays, it's, it's a great place to buy. You can get, you can get uh, fresh fruit. And if you come later in the day... They have quite the sale going on with uh, with the fruit. Like, like it's still not bad. You get four uh, strawberries for ten dollars. You've got four blueberries, uh, and but every so often they have a grand special when when it's time, and you can get as many as ten or twelve little baskets for ten dollars. So, some good deals. There's my buddy with the uh, syrups. I'll be by soon to get some syrup off you. This is the guy. He's got, uh, this is for all the places that he has sold to. He's got pins up all around the world of all the customers from all around the world that shop from him. And how long have you been uh, at the market? Uh, 31 years. 31 years. This is incredible. And I love what you're doing with the pins. Well, that top map was the first five years in this building. Yes. So I started another world map. But there's not so many. Problems. Right. Now, now, this is the brand new building. How long has it been here for now? Um, seven years. Seven years, yeah, because the original one uh, burned, burned down. down and then yeah. Nothing for a bit. Then they had a coverall. That's right. I was in there. I had a map like that in the coverall. Right. But it didn't take the heat. It didn't take the heat. Well, but if you can see, this, this building is beautiful, you know. Yeah. That's why I came out. I came out to, to get some ideas on how to burn down my business and get a new one built. So I thought this would be a good place to get some ideas. You should read the fine print. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Edgar, nice seeing you again. Thanks for, thanks for this. Uh, this is really good stuff. This is the, uh, this is the garlic sauce and, uh, and tabbouleh and red pepper hummus. So, yeah, and a lot of... Uh, I, I do a lot of meats out here. Like, there's a... I'll show you my favorite butcher, which is Charles. And that's, uh, it's all uh, grass-fed, and it's all, 
I loved working out here. I felt like Harrison Ford in the movie Witness because I was surrounded by uh, Mennonite neighbors and, uh, and I, was like, uh, I was like in hiding, you know. And so here, now he doesn't have a great selection today because it's Thursday. Normally these shelves are just filled. And he's got, you've got rabbit, you've got turkey sausage, turkey wings, chicken legs. I mean, this is where I got my, uh, this is where I got my, uh, my uh, tomahawk steak from. And he's got the best meats there. And uh, what else we got? Oh, I'm going to come back and get some uh, smoked back bacon. I'm going to get some, uh, what else am I going to get? Yeah, so Thursdays, because it's, uh, see, a lot of people aren't even open because it's not, it's not the busiest. We're gonna, the tour is almost finished, and, uh, but let me just uh, come up here. This is where I get my breakfast sandwich from every morning. This is a great, uh, great place. It's uh, 6.50, and it's just, it's just the best little sandwich. And you can get uh, chips, fresh chips, sea salt, salt and malt, barbecue, cracked pepper. You can get delightful dill, wildfire, all dressed. Over there, they've got the apple fritters. So it is an activity if you're looking for a fun activity to do because you just got to get out and about. Come to St. Jacob's uh, Thursdays. Uh, the new hours because of COVID is, uh, is 8 o'clock and closed at 2, which is why I'm out here at this time. Because um, And that's it. So thanks for taking the tour with me, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Make sure you tune in. Let me just turn this around for a second.